everyone, it's me Sharind Raj. I hope you get the best tips from the previous videos made by our mathematics teacher. Your support is our burning desire. Keep rocking and please do subscribe and don't forget to click the bell. Thank you. Good evening. Today I'm going to do a form four topic one called correlative function and equation. Okay. Qua in another word qua means power two. Power two. Okay, first of all, it is called uh, something like general form. Okay, this is called general form. There, whenever the A is a positive, the drug U shape will be minimum. Whenever the A is negative, drug will be uh, L shape, we call maximum. And the line, uh, middle line, we call axis symmetry. Middle line, we call axis of, axis of symmetry. Alright, uh, this is the first of all, if you see your textbook, this explanation of what. Uh, quadratic function. So based on the A, we say the graph U shape or N shape. So minimum, maximum. That's the first. Okay, second, what we're going to learn? We're going to learn uh, how to sketch. How to sketch, uh, okay, uh, quadratic equation. So for example, a sketch, you got a three step. Three steps. Okay. First step, you must need to find, 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 you got to call axis of symmetry. We find axis of symmetry. So to find the axis symmetry, so the, we use the formula negative b over okay uh, x goes to negative b over 2a. You can use this formula. Second step is you need to find uh, y intercept. To find y intercept, you need to okay substitute uh, x goes to zero. Alright. Third step we call uh, x intercept. To find x intercept, you need to substitute y equals to 0. So, only 3 steps. Okay, this simple example now, how to sketch. Alright, so to sketch, alright, uh, fx, sometimes you use fx or the use of y. Okay, fx and y is the same. So, I give x, okay, x square minus 6x plus 8. Okay, so first step, you need to find adjustmentary, negative b over 2a. Well, negative is the first formula, adjustmentary. So, uh, b is uh, a is uh, we call uh, 1, uh, b is negative 6, c is 8. So, a is 1, b is negative 6, c is 8. To substitute into that, yeah. So, according to formula earlier, got negative b is negative 6, 2a is 1. So, when you calculate, you get 3. So, x is symmetry is 3. So, second, okay, this is called x symmetry, first step. Second step, we find the y intercept. What's mean y intercept? We cut, okay, any line cut the y, uh, y intercept of y, we call y intercept. When y intercept, everybody know that the line is cut, the y exists, automatically you know y, x will be 0. That's why we need to substitute x will be uh, 0. So for example, 0 square minus 6 times 8, you calculate, you get the answer will be 8. Right? So 8. So first step, you need to find the matrix. Second step, uh, you need to find the y intercept. Third step, you need to find so you need to find uh, what do you call it? Okay, third step you need to find x intercept. X intercept you need to substitute x intercept according to formula. Just now we see the steps. You need to substitute y equals to uh, zero. So for example, f x and y is same. Just now we say x square minus six x plus a. This will be zero. When here zero, you use factorized method. So x x. 2, uh, 4, negative, negative. So, x minus 2 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0. So, x goes to 2, x goes to 4. So, everything, this x, x intercept means they cut the x axis. So, the 3, 3 is combined. First, second, third, you combine, we call sketch. Alright? So, for example, here, alright? x is 2, here x is 2, these called roots. Alright? And at a y, at a y, they cut at the a, at the a. So the graph will come like this. Okay. Then this called axis symmetry. Axis symmetry x goes to three. Uh, that's all for the sketch. I uh, think understand that two and four we call roots. Okay. Two and four we call roots. Even you see any books, uh, the the okay, the term the, the term use roots. Okay, that's all for that sketch. So I repeat again, sketch means you got the three steps. First, you need to find x is symmetry, use this formula. Second step, you need to find the y intercept where the cut at y exists, x will be zero. Third step, we need to find x intercept where they are cut the x exists. When cut the x exists, what do you know? 
We call x in the set y will be 0. That's why you substitute for 0. So the 3, 3 is combined, you draw, then you call sketch. I think everybody understand? Sketch. Now we go to the last aspect, we solve uh, solving quadratic equation. This is the last aspect, third aspect, solving quadratic equation. Solving quadratic equation. So uh, this got steps, uh, three steps. The most important first, you must write general form. Second step, you need to factorize. Third step, you need to uh, solve. So at each time, you must follow the three steps. First step, we call uh, general form. Second, we call factorize. Third, we call uh, solve. Okay, give simple example to everybody understand. Okay. So for information, so easy, I give example. Okay, uh, the question was solve quadratic equation. So, for example, they give you a, okay, uh, x, x plus 5 over 2 equals to negative 3. Okay, first step, you need to write general form. This is called general form. So, for that, you divide linear times. So, x, x plus 5, okay, uh, 2 times negative 3, negative 6. This one, x, negative x squared plus 5x. The negative bring this side will become plus 6 equals to 0. Uh, this is called general form. This is called general form. So first step. Second step, you see, you need to factorize. So to factorize, you already learned since a form 3. So uh, x, x, 2, 3. So positive, positive. Okay, I think everybody understand how to factorize. Okay, third step, you need to solve. How to solve? x plus 3 equals to 0. Each factor equals 0. Or x plus 3 equals to 0. So plus 2 bring there minus 2. So x equals to 92. Plus 3 bring there minus 3. So x equals to 93. That's the answer. So this is a simple example. Okay, I give another example, uh, like something like solving problem. I think everybody understand, eh? Okay, uh, this is called general form, this is called factorize, and third step, you need to solve. How to solve? Each factor equals zero, solve, you get the answer. All right, I give another example, uh, give solving problem. Okay, I think everybody understand this. Okay, how solving problem questions? Sometimes they give you a rectangle, uh, sometimes they give you a rectangle, uh, sometimes they give triangle, sometimes they give a sentence. Okay, they say this is a rectangle. For example, I give you another example for okay, another one. They will say the area is area is 21 centimeters square. Okay, and then they will say this is x, this is x plus 4. This is a cm, cm. So they ask to find the value of x. So uh, these are one of the type question in a okay uh, solving problem question. Okay, how? So they say area is 21. What's mean area? To find the area length and width. That means x times x plus 4. You need to types. This is area. So the area is given 21. Alright. So we expand from x squared plus 4x. Plus 21 bring here minus 21 equals to 0. Uh, this is called general form. So we write general form. Each time we must write in general form. Second set we need to factorize. Okay, how to factorize? Everybody knows since we uh, form 3 we learn x x. Okay. 3, 7. Okay, so here will be positive, here will be negative. So I think everybody understand how to factorize. Okay, so this is uh, we uh, factorize. Third step, I told you, every time, okay, take the equal, that means x minus 3, each factor equals 0, x plus 7 equals to 0. Alright, so from there, x we know that's 3, x we know that is a negative 7. So that's the answer. So we ask x this way to find the x. That's all for uh, chapter uh, 1, form 4. Okay, just three aspects you understand, so you're able to do almost all the questions. Thank you, bye. Uh, for information, so uh, some of you uh, can use calculator to get the answer. Okay, for example, this called general form, where the A is, uh, okay, okay, give simple example. Example, let's say 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. From there, we know the A is 2. A is 2. Uh, b is 5 and c is 6. a is 2, b is 5, c equals to 6. Okay, to solve this answer, you know, okay, uh, you need to factorize and solve. Even use calculator, you can get the answer, all right? So, uh, you can see the next uh, image from there, you know how to use calculator. That's all. Bye.